You guys have so much love for ramen. We posted the ramen fried rice and in two weeks it went half a million views. I might as well just keep doing ramen <laughs> recipes. Why am I going through so much effort for ajuma specialties like <laughs> kalchi jorim and all these others? So this week we're gonna give you another recipe that went viral in Korea with uh, Shin Ramen. It's another way to eat it. It's called Kuchirai ramen. And it's from this like Japanese anime. Uh, the character was eating this Kuchirai ramen. It, they broadcast it in Korea. People actually tried the animation version and it tasted so delicious. Good. Katie made it for me uh, actually a few weeks ago. And I think it's the second best way to eat ramen. The first, of course, being just the regular way. Because this one has no broth, so mm. in some ways it feels less heavy on you and also less guilty. Yeah, you don't feel that bloated or get that mm. like MSG sleep. So I introduced the recipe to Daniel, so I'm gonna be the head chef and you're gonna help it feel, okay? All right. Any spicy Korean ramen will work, but shin ramen works the best. Very simple, we're gonna just chop these green onions. Any type of cheese will work. We are working with this cheddar cheese. And then one egg. For this recipe, we're gonna use a frying pan. Get a lid that fits. Take the cheese out of the plastic now. You don't wanna panic later. You just wanna slice it in half. For us, we're gonna use 300 milliliters of water. Put it in your frying pan. Bring this to a boil. Forecast today, sunny weather. So the water is boiling, so I'm gonna add the noodles in. And then I'm gonna add the flakes in too. And then the magic sauce. We're gonna put in only half the packet. For exact measurement, I poured it here. Ooh, this is gonna ah, I'm excited, I know I'll... what this tastes. Shh, Daniel. So we just need a small time until the ramen breaks up. As you can see, it's actually very, very quick. Once it breaks, make a hole in the middle. Yeah. Yes. Put the lid on, reduce to a low heat, and set a timer for one minute. What do you guys think? I'm so hungry. I know how it tastes, so I'm anticipating it even more. I can see the egg turning white and cooked in this mini hole. And then two, one, stop! Whoa, look at that! And then put your cheese, uh, put it next to the egg. And then sous chef, do the garnish, please. With pleasure. What? <laughs> this is Kujirai Ramen! <laughs> Cheese is perfectly melted and then the, we got this perfect poached egg on top. So how do we eat this? Very simple. Break the egg and mix it with the cheese. If you're thinking about having late night ramen and you don't want to feel bloated or stretch your stomach, this is the way to go. Oh, get it. This looks so good. You know, this looks like a completely different type of food. The noodles look so creamy. It's like yeah. uh, carbonara pasta mm. or something. <laughs> We apologize in advance. We know <laughs> we're gonna I hope you're not watching this at night time. <laughs> this cheesy part is my favorite. I should have been eating this in my childhood. I know. Oh my gosh. I want to stop filming. So at the beginning, I thought there was actually a region called Kuji Rai. So I was Googling really deep, like, what does Kuji Rai mean? Where does it come from? The origin or Japanese version? There's nothing. It's all Korean shin ramen. Yeah. I thought you were talking about sukemen. Yeah. You know the dipping ramen we had? Oh, that one's so good too. Anyway, mm. guys, the only thing that can make this taste better, we need uh, that classic Korean lid. <laughs> All of the Koreans know what I'm talking about. Word up. Then a little bit of kimchi. Oh. Can we switch plates? What? <laughs> what?